What on earth? What are you doing over here? What are you doing here in San Diego? Holler, buddy. What are you doing? What's up, everybody? Andrew's still here today. I'm in San Diego, California, hanging out with the Instagram legends, Midlife Cravo, Court, and Heather. What is going on here? You know, we're on vacation. Hey, you know, while you're here, um, we've done some updates to the coach since the last time. Let's show you around. All right, come on in. This is our living room. We've got the uh, slide that goes out with the coach, or uh, with the uh, couch and the uh, booth at Jesse at Palacios. Jesse! <laughs> uh, he already uh, has been on a few times. He knows about this. He uh, created the couch for us. Um, and the booth as well. So we've got new storage under the booth, under the couch. It's pretty awesome. Uh, any of you youngsters have no idea, but this is my J.R. Ewing um, <laughs> bar, you know, old crystal stuff. Uh, for people that cook, I don't. There's a dishwasher <laughs> on board, but uh, none Express of that stuff. Machine. Yeah, very important. This travels with us wherever we go. Uh, microwave convection oven. I'm super proud of this one because Court actually put this in. It's an induction um, cooktop for us. Um, I was tired of not having the best of space for cooking, although I don't cook, full disclosure. Uh, but the other one had knobs, and I would continually break the knobs. So this one's all flat. Um, it's pretty awesome. And then that's my view when I'm Hang making out. coffee because <laughs> I don't cook. <laughs> uh, Full-size KitchenAid refrigerator, which is pretty awesome. Um, a pantry here, which we just moved today, so it's locked. But anyways, cool stuff. What are you guys eating? What, what's what's the secret to being able to live in a Prevo? Uh, ramen, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah, keep it, keep it cheap. Keep it cheap. Uh, this is above my pay grade. This court can uh, Yeah, so on. here we got a little bit of everything. This is uh, maybe a little bit awesome. daunting to the average person, but you can kind of see there's... There's, this coach is nice to have two inverters. So we got two 4,000 watt inverters, left and right, basically one and two. Uh, the beauty of this is we've actually also have a 24 volt system. So we can do a test to see where our batteries are at. We're at 12.4 there, and our 24 volt system's up to 25. We can basically disconnect anything. It's kind of like a panel in your house. A little more marine style. Some of that goes back on the Millennium design, them being a yacht builder back in the day. Um, but very nice and in here you see the two uh, inverter controls so you see what's going on we're charging generator control shore power some little telemetry floor heaters because everyone needs floor heaters um, <laughs> <laughs> although we've never used them um, but yeah it's just it's it's kind of the I call it the, the guy section it's kind of the garage of the place nice all right so what else is going on back yeah, here? Well, this is just it, you know, just the um, shower that fits too, thankfully, because Court's a big kid, uh, <laughs> which is nice. And just a simple sink, bathroom. It's got two um, doors, so if you have company, there's a an air door right here that will shut and we'll close up. Uh, keep some privacy back here. And then, um, excuse the dog beds, but we're double slides in this coach, so the bed will move out and then we have the full wardrobe on the back wall. So yeah, aside from nice. the dog bed stuffed in here. Yeah. And, and oh yeah, I was just doing some laundry earlier. It was moving day, so we did laundry, but we do have <laughs> stacking washer and dryer, which is really convenient. I know we um, glamp a lot, so we don't do a lot of laundry, but closest to the days that we move, I will throw a load of towels or um, sheets and stuff in and swap things out. So it's pretty convenient for sure. Nice. And I've got to ask, this is like a beautiful oh. kind of like, what's just like, look at this before they even open it. Okay, like, so also, Jesse, Jesse from Palacios, Palacios again did this oh, for us. And you'll see back here, he did oh. the headboard for us. So you guys got to wait to see that. Hold on just yeah. a second. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, back before, if you look back on one of uh, Andrew's first videos that he did, you'll see that we used to have um, a lot of uh, brocade and French wrong 2003 stuff so Jesse did a really um, 
it's very neutral. It will last now for the for the lifetime of this coach, unless somebody, if we decide to sell it, which we're not selling, <laughs> uh, is um, wants to swap it out. But it's just very neutral. So he, it was actually Jesse's idea. So if anyone ever, don't be afraid to update the interior of your coach because there is a lot of professionals like Palacios that will help you or guide you or had some he had some input so i said i want it very neutral and it's just like a closet an extra closet there's a lot of junk in there oh hey it's yeah. all good yeah so, but um yeah, we well, laptop well, it's just laptops and, yeah yeah but there is hanging storage. no it's just it, utilized it wow. yeah. yeah very there's cool sheets and such but. Yeah. but it looks really cool from like but, out here yeah. it's just I mean, has a super did, cool appearance i just said just do something with those doors and this is what he came up with so uh, don't be afraid to let the professionals do their job. I'm going to just say that truly. What shocked me was all the curve stuff. Like this is, this isn't easy to do. If you've no. ever, anybody's ever done a cabinet to have a reverse curve door is almost insane. And then, Seriously, let's, I can mean, I open this yeah, up yeah, just yeah, to yeah, kind yeah. of look no, like, yeah, too, yeah, like this is no joke here, guys. Oh, like, right, right there. look at yeah. the curved wood there and then for them and to then wrap the it that way. Being you know the reveals being tight. Um, yeah, absolutely. Look at that. Just no seams. Every square. Yeah, everything is Millennium just so does fluid. top of the game when it comes to I think. And this is one of their first, I believe, first eight or nine coaches they built. Um, and I've seen some of their newer stuff, and it is. I mean, it's it's definitely a level up. Yeah, even is this the original hardware from yeah. Millennium? Yes, yeah, can you believe oh, it? Super beefy, years old. super. Yeah. You can just feel the quality. Like when I open and close this door right here, and look at that curved wood as well. So yeah, cool. It's not easy. Like that's the, I don't know. I just I love the talent. If you look over here too, this is kind of nautical here on the edge of the um, of the shower, and the shower oh, is totally. curved. So Even the I don't know if you can glass. The glass, see that. The glass wow. Is curved. Yeah. That is not a cheap piece of glass no. right there. <laughs> yeah, and I don't even know if the camera even can pick I this I up. Think you can see but that. yeah, this 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 piece of glass is like totally curved. And I love it. Is that black uh, is it like a granite or a marble? Granite. Yeah. Yep. Is that original? Yes. Yeah, that's all wow. Original, to my understanding, yeah. yeah. Super cool. Super cool. And, uh, I love know, the they mirrors. Do, they do too. a lot of stuff cool. It's I'm not a big ceiling mirror guy, but I this you don't it. notice it yeah. and it's it's smoked. I don't know if I you think can it's see a darker that. color. Yeah, so. definitely, definitely has a, a darker tint to yeah, it. Too. So, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's our little forty-five feet by ten feet. So what else is going on? Oh wait, hold on, guys. What do we have going on oh, out here? My oh my! Yes. You never know who's going to roll into the state parks. Ramble on. Saskatchewan played actually. On hey! <laughs> In my homer country. <laughs> wow. There's a dog on the back. That's there. an Eskimo. <laughs> And a moose. A... It's all things Canadian right there. Hold on. I may need to just go run up yeah. on this. You need to yeah. go do it. Hold on, guys. Yeah. I'm going to run up on this real quick to show you guys that, and then I'll be right back, and we will continue. Uh-oh. Look at what is going on here. <laughs> what is going... Sadie, what are you doing up here? We had a whole plate of pepperoni. What are you doing, Sadie? <sighs> All kinds of fun stuff look going at, on here. Monkey. monkey might have done it, actually. He's hungry. I think they're both. I think I they're think best buds easily. now. I think they're both in cahoots. I love you. I love if you did that. I think that's amazing. I'm fine. Oh, I missed the Saskatchewan rig. Go get him. We rescue dogs ourselves, and dogs are 100 percent rule the roost around this place. So you can sit on the table and eat whatever you want. I'm fine with it. Uh. That is too awesome. Court's going to show us a little bit what's going on outside here on the basement doors. This is one of the coolest parts of the bus. Court, what's all going on right now out here? Well, this is our patio, so this is kind of where we have fun. Uh, this is where we spend 90% of our time when we're hanging outside. A lot of it you guys have seen before. You know, it's kind of generic stuff. It's the, you know, the pass-through bays, but let's start and we'll move on here. I yeah, guess. absolutely. Look how sweet this whole bay is here. Look at all of the beefy hardware behind the scenes here. Yeah, it's crazy what they do. I mean, Millennium did a really nice job of this conversion. This is, like I say, you gotta remember, this is 18 years ago. Um, Swivel Bay it is able to hide itself within here, obviously, as you can see. Um, but it comes out, does nice. And then you've got a little, I mean, people remember the Bose Wave Radio. That was the thing back in the day. Um, so that's included. 
a uh, little refrigerator just in case you ever need extra storage. I've done some other things for like weird storage. We'll keep a blower. I think most RVers don't realize the value of having a cordless leaf blower. It is the money. It keeps patio clean, whatever. It's a good cleanup device. Uh, storage bay one, roller bay. You can see my stand up paddle boards or paddles. Um, Mo Ride was nice enough to send us a, well, we paid full retail, so don't, we're not Mo Ride sponsored by any ways, but they provide a superior product. It is, it's robust, it is industrial, just like what Prevo does. So I was more than happy with the product when it arrived. Um, it gives us the flexibility, like a lot of you guys have, with the, you know, being able to roll stuff out. I keep my tools, we keep some other stuff in here. Kind of our daily, this is our go-to bin for daily stuff. Uh, we've got some other bins on the other side that are more for the uh, once a week kind of stuff that you need. So, so that's that bay. Entertainment bay we cover. This falls into our gen bay. This is the, uh, this is the garage of the men's bay, like I described earlier. Uh, this is the big, and I, we've got some issues beefy. right now where I've got some, I've got a, uh, one of my airbags in the back is bad. So that's where you see the slime. I tried to, we band-aided it for a year. It was great, but it's time to actually replace all four bags. But this, this thing is robust. This no. thing is quiet. Now, um, I've got to ask you the hard question. What is it going to cost you to replace all four of those bags? Uh, the bags are about 140 each. So that's obviously you got that retail package number. Um, the issue I have is, I wish they'd put it on rollers. Some of the new guys have them on nice rollers, just like the baby showed up there. This one will be a little more involved. Oh, however, my, I've got a guy with uh, Kyle, who's my repair guy, but I think we can do a nice tight. It'll probably cost a grand by the time I'm done. But now I'm good for another 20 years. Absolutely. So it's one of those items. The other cool thing of this, and this is something I wish every RV manufacturer would get involved in, this thing has the radiator on the ceiling. It's also exhausted through the ceiling. So guess what? You hear nothing, you feel nothing, you smell nothing. It is the most easy design. And I don't know, I have no idea why every manufacturer doesn't do it. it is the guys at Millennium, they got it right on this early on. And it is the best. Not to mention it's the easiest oil change you've ever done in your life. I can sit have a beer on a five gallon bucket. 10 minutes later, I'm done. And everyone, Heather actually quoted me as saying, Are you do the oil change on the gen? I go, it's already done. So it's really done. So don't be scared. If you have the right setup, this is where it's at. Nice. Um, so anyways, that's, that's a little long winded, but. Hey, no, I, I appreciate that brother. You've got so much wisdom. Tell us, the YouTubers want to hear as much wisdom as possible from you, so don't this, hold back at all. This is one of those things that, as RVers, we do every day. This is stuff we keep, this is stuff we have to do. Either that or we're paying somebody to do it. Absolutely. So, I mean, I guess let's go into detail here. My fuel filter's right here. My oil filter's right here. It's the easiest thing. So I've, easy. I've got a hose with a drain plug and then a, a clock that goes right off of the, uh, a pet clock that goes right off of the, uh, the block that I turn to drain it. So I can just sit here, let it drain, uh, chill. I'll obviously, after warming it, everyone that's out there should warm their engine before they do this, but uh, it's one of those things that it's such an easy thing. Everything's right here in front of you. Um, I mean, fuses, everything's right here. I, I wish everybody did the same design. It's, it's, I, I'm tired of RV manufacturers sticking them in the nose of the RV. Most RVs are nose heavy to begin with. They should be hiding the generator back near the rear axles where all your weight carrying capacity is. Let's give us a nice rollout bay in the nose. Give us this massive bay where this generator normally sits and that should be your storage bay. It just, I don't know why the industry will not adapt, but they haven't. Uh, Millennium has, they're ahead of the game once again, and this was 18 years ago. A huge thanks to Court and Heather, Midlife Prevo on Instagram for sharing their awesome coach. Can't thank them enough for supporting me when I was just getting started on YouTube.